Hi friends, welcome to Sarah Nicole Yoga, where I lead you through some yin. So today we've got a little treat. We're going to do yin yoga, which is gonna be super relaxing and passive poses, just giving some love to our ligaments, joints, tendons, bones and muscles, and all the fascia inside of all of that. And then we'll have some sounds at the end of that. In between each pose, I'm going to tap a sound bowl to let you know that it is time to bring some more awareness to your body and your breath and transition into our next pose. I'm going to be holding the postures with you, but I'll talk you guys through them so that you, sh you are sure that you've got the pose situated and um, can figure this out at home without having me in front of you. Um, the good news is we are returning back to in-person classes starting June 1st, so I'm really excited to be able to see my students and feed off of their energy and tell them, you know, I can see that your foot is not in the right place, so I'm going to tell you where to put it. And um, this virtual stuff, it's, it's been fun, it's been challenging, and I'm, I'm ready to see some people and I'm ready to share some more in-person positivity. So thank you guys for joining me. Let's get started with meditation. So you're gonna find your most comfortable meditation. For me, it's typically hero pose. So I'm coming onto my knees, sitting back onto my heels, stacking my shoulders over my hips and my hips over my ankles. This pose is not accessible for every person. So maybe you do seated or staff pose where you have your legs out in front of you or easy pose or you prop your back up against a wall. Whatever you choose for your most comfortable meditation and we're just gonna connect into our breathing. So go ahead and find your hands placement. Mine is gonna be hands down, palms down on my thighs and then shut the eyes down. Big breath in through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. Let's do it again, and this time drop your shoulders down as you exhale. Big breath in. Exhale, drop shoulders down. Fill up. Empty. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Begin noticing sensations through your body. Do you have one part of your body maybe going to sleep? Feeling the tingling sensation arise? Maybe you notice there's an itch somewhere on your body. Just notice those things without judgment and then come back to your breath by thinking the word inhale and the word exhale. And then take notice, are you feeling antsy? Are you ready to move? Or are you just content with being still We're just taking mental notes of our body's sensations, the feelings throughout our muscles, and the thoughts running through our brain. And then once we've done that, once we've taken a mental note, we just come back to the thought of our breath and we let all the other stuff just melt away as we get more and more present on our mat prepare our bodies and our mind for this practice. We're telling our bodies, we're preparing our muscles to get into some postures where we're going to hold, we're gonna keep our minds set on breath. This meditation is our preparation for our yin yoga class. Our bodies and our minds are going to thank us for taking the time to stretch, to get still, and to let our minds get silent. One more time, take a big inhale and let your exhale allow your shoulders to drop down and back. 
Maybe even your arms come by your sides, just hanging. Letting more muscles feel loosey-goosey and ready to get stretched. And we will now begin with our first posture, child's pose with a twist. So get into your child's pose. And then we're gonna thread our right arm underneath our left arm, placing right shoulder and right cheek down onto the mat, like so. And you can use your left arm to have it passive. You can press it into the mat. You can even take it by your side. But the goal is to be pressing right shoulder into your mat. very slowly unthread that right arm and now we're going to take it over with the left arm threading underneath left shoulder left cheek down to the mat and then again finding that placement with your right hand letting hips draw back feeling cheek and shoulder melt into your mat Slowly come out of your child's pose and we're gonna go on to our seats now for our next posture we'll be doing a pigeon on the right side I'm gonna give you guys options we're gonna do some sort of reclining pigeon so you can stay seated your left foot will either go into the mat um, or if you're on your back your left foot will go into the air but the main thing that I want everyone doing is your right ankle over your left knee. So you're feeling this in the outside of your right hip. So again, you can be here with that left foot into the mat. You can hold it out like this and hold under your thigh. We are gonna be holding this for about 10 breaths, so that's not ideal. So your other option would be to lie down and lift that foot into the air. So I'm gonna go for a seated, there's no wrong way to do this pose. I just want you guys to feel this in your right hip. So go ahead and find your most comfortable reclining pigeon on the right side.
slowly switch it over to the other side. So if you were seated, drop the right foot down, cross the left ankle over, find that comfortable position. And then if you need to go back onto your backs, you can do that. Slowly straighten both legs, coming into staff pose. Both sits bones down on your mat. Feet are active, shoulders are straight up. Leading with your chest, running your fingers along the sides of your body on your mat. You're just gonna slowly, slowly, slowly lean forward. And we're pushing both of those sits bones down and back. You should feel a little bit of a release in your lower back. And we're just gonna hold right here if you have a little more flexibility, range of motion, you're welcome to go ahead and forward fold all the way. Or if you're up tall, that's perfect. You just wanna make sure both of those butt bones are down onto the mat. And we're gonna hold right here, pushing chest forward. And eyes shut down, mind goes back to the breath. Slowly bring yourself back up to seated with a straight spine. And you're gonna bring your right foot into your left leg by bending the right knee. And again, both butt bones are square. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just this time leaning over the left leg. And you may find this time you have a bit more flexibility with this right leg coming in. So again, reaching forward with fingertips, leading with chest.
you're going to lift that right knee into the sky by placing the right foot down onto the mat. And you're gonna take the left elbow and we're hooking it onto the right knee. So you're twisting over your right shoulder. This is a seated supine twist. You should feel this in your spine. Slowly twist it back to the front, very carefully and slowly square your shoulders straight ahead. Straighten the right leg. Take some notice of what sensations you've got. Maybe you feel something on your right hip, your right shoulder feels a little more open, and then slowly pull left foot into the right leg. Left knee goes out, both butt bones down to the mat, leading with fingertips and chest slowly hinge forward. Slow and controlled, lift it back up. Straight spine as you come up. And when you're all the way up, shoulders are back, squared to the front, stacked over hips. You're gonna bring the left knee to the sky, left foot onto your mat. Right foot is staying active. Right elbow crosses over the left knee, twist over your left shoulder for the seated supine twist. controlled shoulders back to the center left leg straightens take some movements feel some sensations in your body and we'll head into our final posture for this class by bringing the soles of our feet together and the heels towards our body for supta baddha konasana your options are to stay seated with both butt bones down onto the mat or to lay flat on your back so if you chose to go with seated, this is also butterfly legs is what we've got. You can give yourself a foot massage. I've been calling that in a lot of my classes, um, my, my yin classes. I just really enjoy foot rubs. That's like my one favor I get from my husband on special occasions. And I think it's important that we take time to do the things that make our hearts happy. So for me, it's foot rubs. Maybe for you, it's not. I just like giving you guys an opportunity to um, give yourself some love. Our eyes shut down wherever you are. Connect thoughts to breath.
Shavasana. Find your place of rest, laying flat on your back. Let your body get soft. Let your mind get completely silent. Eyes are shut. Nothing to do. Just rest to be received. Slowly wiggle toes and fingers, pull knees to chest. Carefully and slowly come into a seated posture. Eyes are shut down. Your mind is of your breath. Say out loud with me, I am at peace. 
As you take your hands over your heart, we're gonna say that together. Big breath in, big breath out. I am at peace. Let's do that two more times. Big breath in. Exhale, I am at peace. Breath in. Breath out, I am at peace. The peace inside of me honors the peace inside of you. Namaste. Thank you if you've stuck around to the end of this. I hope that you enjoyed uh, the sound bath, the little baby sound bath that we had. I got some new mallets, so I was really excited to use those. Um, it's just gonna keep sounding better and better with the more practice I get. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that yin class. Just a couple of things before you sign off. Um, June 1st, the yoga studio opens back up and I cannot express enough excitement about that. Um, we're gonna have a ton of classes and um, if you're watching this on Wednesday, then today is the day that we've announced our schedule. Um, be sure you get signed up um, plenty of time in advance. We're going to go ahead and open those up today, Wednesday, um, so that you have time to get your spots filled. If you're going to cancel, we do ask that you give, I believe we're saying 12 hours advance, but um, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Just stay tuned for the list of like the rules and regulations we're going to do. Um, I hope you guys join me. I'm going to be doing, I'm coming back with my hot power class and I haven't taught that in a while and I'm really, really excited to have some bodies to see and faces to see and I'm excited to do some work with our power yoga class, get back to doing that. And um, I just really, really look forward to seeing you all in person and getting back to some sort of normalcy. I mean, it's not realistic to say that we'll go back to normal, but um, yoga classes in person will feel a little bit different and for me a lot more normal than teaching to a camera. <laughs> See you guys so soon. Peace out.